So today I'm going to give a little tour of the area X the Unknown. It's a, uh, it's a little mad scientist area I've been working on. Actually, I don't like to say mad scientist. That's, uh, that's prejudicial language. So we call it the peeve scientist or disgruntled scientist or somewhat upset scientist. Anyway, so this is just a, a boring, boring tunnel on the way there. I found that though if you put a block up or two you could decapitate people and uh, cause them a little damage which made it a little more mad but mostly annoying. So anyway, here we are. And we're catching it just as uh, at sunrise which is kind of nice. So we're going to do this loop-de-loop -loop and drop. And so we drop onto the rail and now we turn around, go the other way, plunge into darkness. It's not actually dark, you'll notice it's actually quite light. And uh, we'll talk about that secret later. That's one of my favorite tricks, in fact. So here we are. So since, uh, since it's nice and daylight out, I won't talk about this place right now. We'll come back in here later. We'll just take the, uh, the secret entrance out and start touring around. There we go. So the first thing on the agenda is to uh, visit the woods. This is the woods that's uh, a little bit different than most woods. Whoops. Now I'm lagging out. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, here we are in this, this interesting woods. It's got all kinds of different uh, substances for the trees. I actually tried to uh, replace all the tree trunks, but they kind of changed the foliage algorithm so that uh, you can't you can't do it fast enough. You can't toss some other things in there and uh, keep the trees growing. The, uh, the foliage will all disappear as soon as you take the trunk out. So anyway, this is this tree area, and uh, here we have a uh, a little return launcher. What you can do is get on there, it drops down onto this rail, and then it drops and slides back in downhill pretty nice little way to do it. This is just a fun little experiment of uh, putting stair steps everywhere and seeing if you can just make a nice uh, place to walk up. And it, it works quite well. You don't have to don't have to jump. There's no more jumping involved. You can just uh, move on up. So this is the uh, the official entrance if you were to walk up is through these little pillars and you get to uh, the test area. Uh, well, what am I testing? Okay, so we have some boats here, and so I was just testing how fast you can go with the boat down this, this canal. And you can run down the canal. It's about a 30 meter run. Or you can use the extremely expensive but snappy uh, teleporter. So the teleporter works like so. You just can click on the next cart, and if you're skilled, unlike I am, if you're skilled you can really whip, whip through here. You can zip along pretty quickly. You can go about twice as fast as walking. However, it's fabulously expensive to do so. Um, this cart's actually f free. It's not on a... All these other carts are on rails, so they stay in place, but this one's movable. And I moved it. It turns out about the uh, maximum teleportation range is about two and a half meters. So anyway, so that's what this is about. Whoops. And, uh, and that's that. So, next thing on the agenda is uh, this little mad music area which basically has these guys that are, uh, they sort of shoot out signals every now and then. Uh, when they're sort of fully loaded, I call them uh, Mickey Mouse blinkers, because they have these sort of Mickey Mouse ears on them. And they've got, you know, two torches on each side. And what happens is, for, uh, for whatever reason, I've never really figured out why it does this, it'll shoot out these uh, signals every now and then. So all we do is we take the signals and route them in various places. Here's like, I think it's an AND gate. So once it gets a signal here, and that signal goes off at the same time, then this thing turns on. Um, so anyway, let's see if we again fully load it, fully turn on this Mickey Mouse thing. You'll get uh, these signals will come out more frequently, and they'll shoot out and go to various places. So there's just you know various and and or gates that are that are here to make bad music. I'm sorry, peeved music, disgruntled music. It's not bad, I tell you. So that's what that's about. I'm going to sort of uh, slow down the music by taking some of these blocks out. So over here, 
let's, uh, let's work our way from uh, right to left. Over here is this uh, acid rainforest, is what I like to call it. It's basically just a bunch of trees, a bunch of saplings I dropped down, and then carved away all the, uh, all the foliage that I could reach. And so it gives these kind of uh, amusing uh, trees with cr crew cuts and so on. And this tree grew large enough that uh, I couldn't get all the foliage, and I didn't want to cheat and go and step on things and try to get it. So, so we got to survive. So let's see, over here we have some uh, exterior decorating ideas. Basically this is all just using stairs, and uh, now that stairs are pretty easy to place, um, that he sort of fixed that so that it's pretty easy to drop them in place however you want. You, uh, you can get all kinds of cool patterns. Each one of these is different. So you have this sort of wide window kind of look, narrow little tiny windows. Um, up here I've done a, a slightly different thing. I've used some, uh, used some fences and uh, some half pavers to give uh, different kinds of walls. So these walls are all like uh, impenetrable. You know, you can't walk through them. But, uh, you know, lets a lot of light through and gives you a neat, neat kind of effect. So there's my uh, decorating ideas for the day. So let's see, there's some other patterns. Oh yeah, over here is pretty cool. There's a uh, an octopi, a squid, uh, spawned over into this area. And so he's just been hanging out. He's been having a fun time in the water wall, just uh, swimming around. So I really like him. He's, he's uh, pretty cool. Good old Wally, Wally the octopus. So anyway, let's see. We also have some uh, other walls here. And uh, just a... Uh, Turns out you can stack reeds, which I hadn't realized until I started playing around with things here. Um, so you can get some interesting uh, stuff going on with those. And uh, over here, we have this cake box, which uh, which basically the idea of the cake box is uh, how do you get in? Well, you can uh, get in here, and you could try to you could try to jump, but if you jump, you'll you'll fall in this lava pit down here, which I've nicely uh, put some glass on so you don't actually die. Um, but anyway, the way it turns out that you can do it is you get in and then you can click to the next guy. And uh, so anyway, what's nice about this is that, you know, this is just using the teleportation idea, but what's interesting is that you can make a one-way entrance. You can't actually exit this way. If you try to click on the car on the way back, you get stuck. But anyway, for getting here, your reward is that you have cake. And uh, so let's see, so we'll get out of here. And this next area is uh, this tree area where basically all I did was uh, had a fight for survival. I put trees all, tree saplings all over this place. And uh, it became this surprisingly dense and uh, tall woods. I'm, I'm really kind of shocked how, how high the trees grew. It's, uh, it's kind of nasty in there. I'm not going to go in there because it's just hard to figure out where you are and how to get out. Um, but yeah, the trees really popped up incredibly high. I think that what the reason that happened was because it uh it was this kind of sloped woods area. I mean in other words, you know, it was all it was all like this where you put trees, you know, in these spots and I think because there's walls next to the trees they really want to shoot up trying to get past the walls. So anyway, I thought that was kinda cool. And uh let's see over here is a water grinder. It's basically a little mob grinder. The uh, the animals, you know, appear. They uh, wander into the water. They get sucked down over here. And uh, actually, I meant to make a little fix here. Get that piece of glass, because now now they have the ability to uh, get here, and then they if they jump up and down with excitement. They'll get caught on fire also. So between the water bouncing them against the uh, cacti keeping the container in the fire, they usually uh, they go down pretty quick. So, and then they end up here. The little stream brings them over here. And it's also a little cacti farm. Um, anyway, so what happens is they come here, and uh, the, only, the only reason I set this all up was just so that I'd have some things that eventually hit this wooden plate, and they'd play a little too. One more time. So what that is is just a, uh, you know, signal comes up, hits a series of these uh, delays, and uh, so it plays a note, hits another delay, plays a note, and so on. So let's see, 
next thing on the agenda is this whole little music block area. This is basically just playing with music blocks, and so nothing, nothing too scary here, nothing too elaborate. It's uh, basically this is the uh, dizzy, dizzy phone or dizzy piano or whatever, where basically you play this thing enough, you, uh, you kind of freak yourself out by, uh, you know, losing your uh, consciousness by uh, getting dizzy. So you know, it's just the usual kind of thing. And uh, over here is uh, the excerpt my drums, which basically you can uh, you know play some beats, some cool beats, and uh, get a lot of exercise at the same time. At least exercise your uh, middle finger and right and left fingers. So this thing over here is a little bit strange. It's uh it's two dispensers shooting at each other. I was thinking, oh this would be cool. Like one dispenser will shoot out, it'll trigger the other dispenser. You know, like so here I trigger it, it shoots out. Eh, it didn't quite make it, but let's just try it here. So that one got it, where uh, it shot out a cube, and then that set the other one to shoot out another cube. And I think you could actually set these up in an interesting way to uh, have a little chain reaction. But uh, but what I like to think of this thing is for is that if you have any extra cubes that you don't want, you put them in, this, in the dispenser, and um, and basically what happens is animals tend to wander by this area, and as they hit these things, they'll uh, shoot out a cube, and you know, maybe they'll shoot out another cube, and then the cubes will just sit there forever, and they'll eventually die. And so this is a way to get rid of all those extra cubes without, like, just tossing them in lava and feeling guilty about, oh man, I got rid of some cubes. Um, you just put them in the machine, and the uh, the animals kill them all for you. So if you have some uh, whole sort of moral compunction about this thing, then uh, about losing cubes, then uh, this is your way to get rid of them. So over here is another just a, a very simple way to kill animals. Um, Really, you could just make a simple fire like just one of these. I decided to just fill in this whole area. It was a little depression here, so I filled it full of fire. Um, it's amazing how how well this works. <laughs> is that when there are animals around, I don't see any animals right now, but they'll just wander into the fire and die, and then they'll leave you their pork or leather or whatever. And uh, you know, it's, it's ridiculously stupid and, and uh, but yet effective. So it's getting dark, so I wanted to show a little feature over here. And uh, that'll be about one of the last things on the outside is uh, is basically there's a little island over here that glows. It's kind of cool. It's uh, yeah, so it's uh, basically an island made out of wood. Let's see if I can get over there. An island made out of wood, and uh, and I've replaced a few of the um, a few of the wood tiles with uh, or wood blocks rather with. Uh, with the uh, wooden stair steps, and so basically there's a wooden stair, and then there's a you know a torch behind it, so you get this kind of cool effect from that. And let's see, this is just a little train line. Uh, let's see, should I ride this in? Yeah, sure, I'll ride it in. So this is just a little train. It's a little stop along the way, and of course I missed the train. <laughs> This is traditional. Uh, well, we'll just walk it. That's fine. 